ericmoadetmoadet.com. In this video, let's take a look at the simple principle of RSI backtest. It's a very simple principle here. Let's assume that this is the RSI. And stock's been trending higher. Breaks down. And at some point, it drops below what has been a trend line. So let's draw a trend line. So let's just draw it right there. And what we get is we break down below the RSI trend line. And in the future, stock will try and move the RSI back above the trend line. Most likely here, we are going to see if it's a good signal, there's going to be uniform action rejection. So let's say it could be something like that, which gives you a sell signal. Sometimes it can be a double top, but at the end of the day, you want this backtest failure to have uniform action. That's when you get a good signal. So that tends to be a sell area. Let's take a look at the chart for Goldman Sachs, all data monthly. And what we're going to do is take a look at this high in 07, this high in 09, this high here, and this high. All of them have the same characteristic, which is the backtest failure of the RSI. So let's begin with the first high here. And I'll draw the trend line. Should be something like that you can see we went above the line and back below it with uniform action right there this is after it had failed there was a breakdown here we tried to move above the line we were rejected hope that makes sense let's do another trend line now we're going to take a look at this monthly high do another line right here you can see a filled trend line break there we try to move above it here we were rejected with uniform action that gave us that high let me show you another trend line which is this here and I'll extend it so we broke down there which is this high we try to move above it we were rejected with uniform action which is the high there and most recently Take a look at this break. Draw it like that. You can see once we broke down here, we pull back, we try to move above it. We have double top uniform action rejection for the highs right there. Now that's a very simple method. If you can marry this with other technical aspects, it can help you gauge situations where a stock is about to turn around for a major move. Let me show you something similar to this top, this top, and this top. All of this happened with the RSI showing uniform activity rejection when trying to move above the 69.1 threshold. So additionally, we got rejection when trying to move above 69.1, which is here. Rejection when trying to move above 69.1, which is here double top rejection when trying to move above 69.1 for the highs there and we went short here because of this double top on the monthly so those highs again the back test lines are there back test failure here back test failure here and back test failure again here and again, all those also came after RSI 69.1 rejected the stock. And that's how we got this recent high here on a timing perspective. We took advantage of that situation for this most recent drop. And of course, we see from history that this was also good places to have gone short. Eric Mwadith, mother.com. As always, good luck, peace, and blessings. Woo!